Messy books and informal desk? Hmm. Sounds bad, no? So as you can see that I badly needed two things in my life right now. I needed a table and a bookshelves because studying without a table is very hard and inefficient and these messy books, it needs to be kept. Let's check on what Lazada can offer us. Look at those prices! 20,000, 19,000, 17,000 pesos tables? Are you serious? No way! That's impractical! So let's just DIY a table and shelves that is swap on our budget. In this project, we are about to create a designated working area. But first, let's buy the needed materials. My plan is to have a light, durable, and easy-to-fold wall-mounted table that will be functional on my small space area. And so, I needed a foldable bracket. We need two pieces of bracket for our foldable table. And to my surprise, it only cost 349.75 pesos each. Next stop is the brackets for our bookshelves. For our bookshelves, we need six pieces of brackets. Each bracket only costs 29.75 pesos. The last stop is our special screw. What makes it special? The special screw that I am talking about is the nylon wall plug anchors, in short, tox screw. This is how it works. First, you have to drill the concrete masonry. That drill doll is what we call the pilot hole. That's where you will insert the tox using a hammer. Once the tox is already inside the pilot hole, that's when you will have to insert the screw. On the fourth stage, you will see that the tox expands once the screw is being pushed through it. It expands inside that makes it to hold stronger. I also need some hooks for storage and hanging purposes. We already have this for portable table. We already have this for the wall shelves. We have the screw and some hook. So we're done. This part of my room is where we will put on the table and shelves. We start by layouting. These laminated woods were just free. That's the perks of being in line with architecture field. You get connections from engineers and architects and sometimes you can get construction materials for free. Here is my dad who is a senior structural engineer. For today's project, my dad will help me. After layouting the wall, we may now start marking the bracket placements on the wood. After setting up everything, we may start drilling the wall surface. This wall is a drywall gypsum partition board. This is where we need to use the top screw because if not, our shelves will fail. First layer, second layer, and on the third layer, I decided to put some hooks to add extra storage on my room. Wall shelves are done. Let's now focus on the table. Designing a table is critical because it requires a standard. According to Fajardo, average adult study or working table ranges from 0.72 to 0.74 meters height. And we have to comply with the design standards because those standards are for our own sake and comfort. Prepare the brackets on the table. And again, it's drilling time! Watch me whip! and drill. Watch me whip and nay nay. <laughs> Setting up the brackets. We directly incorporate the brackets on the table for easier assembly on the wall. We use Phillips screwdriver to tighten up the screw joints. And lastly, I put angled plastic covers on the wall shelves to avoid pointed edges. 
And we're done! Finally, no more messy books and here's to more organized bookshelves. I cannot believe that these table and shelves would only cost me about 1,000 pesos. It was really a budget-wise project. Happy 2K YouTube subscribers! And for that, I am giving away these amazing coffees from Cupfica. For more questions about the giveaways, please message me on my social media accounts. Bye!